What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina and today we're gonna look at the Mares Puck Pro wrist style dive computer and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set it up. Um, the first thing that you'll notice about this dive computer is it only has one button. So the other computers we've showed is either had one, two, four, or whatnot. This one only has one. Um, so you're gonna actually use it to scroll, select, um, to confirm and to back out all at the same time. Now, with any new dive computer, as I've stated before, you want to make sure you go ahead and change the battery out when you first get it. Even if that battery is good, you really don't know how long it sat at the shop, how long it was on display, or even how long it was at the warehouse before the shop ordered it. So it's always a safe bet. Go ahead and replace the battery when you first get it. And if the battery is good, then you always have a backup as well. So to turn the computer on, it's very simple enough. You just simply hit the button, and of course the screen's going to come on. You'll notice that there are several different screens here the bottom screen is going to tell you time and data information about the dive the middle screen is going to tell you usually your deco information and then of course the top screen is going to tell you your ascent rate whether you're using air nitrox or you're in bottom timer mode and also tell you your depth now during the dive mode itself you can actually change the depth to where it'll either show say your maximum operating depth if it's in nitrox mode or it will show your current depth and your maximum depth um, and you can kind of set it up the way you want it there but to scroll through the screens, you just simply press and release the bottom button. To select a screen, to confirm or back out, you simply press and hold the bottom button. So we're just gonna press it one time, it's gonna take us over to mode, and then we'll press and hold on that just for a few seconds. And this is where we're gonna go into the mode select, such as maybe air, maybe you wanna dive nitrox, or maybe you wanna put it in a bottom timer mode. Now we use bottom timer mode on this style computer a lot because this is the same style computer we use for all our students during open water training. So <laughs> anytime Time that we're in the pool training we'll actually put them on this computer put it in bottom timer mode that way they have a fully functioning computer but once that student gets out of the water we can very easily hand it to a new student and that first student's decompression time is not actually logged in there so we can actually use it between students and then of course you can go into the back mode and back right back out so that's simple enough for the mode going over to the next screen this is where we get into set and if we press and hold there you're either going to have set dive or of course set time. Now we're gonna start with the set dive first. The first thing that you're gonna to come to is the light screen. Now this is where we determine how bright or how long we want the light to stay on. It comes set from the factory on a six. I like to put mine on 10. It does take a lot more battery power, but the older I get, I like to be able to see the screen when I hit the light button. So we're gonna set that on 10 as well. Then we can go into the P factor. This, just like most of the other computers, you can set it to be a more conservative or a more liberal algorithm. So it depends on how you want to dive. And then of course you can set it up for altitude mode as well. And then of course we can go between fresh or salt water. I'm just gonna leave this one on fresh water because that's primarily the type of diving we do here at our shop. And of course we can go between metro, metric or imperial units. I'm just gonna leave it imperial. And then of course we can uh, set our fast alarm on, we can set our uh, all alarms on if we want to, we can even do a deep stop alarm if we want to do that as well. And then we got our erase code. Once again, your erase code's good, maybe you're selling your computer, you want to erase all the data out of it, or maybe if I have let a student use this for checkout dives, I wouldn't have had it in bottom timer mode, I'd actually have it in computer mode. And that way their information is going to be saved in it. But if I was doing a second set of checkout dives with a new student, I could actually erase the first student's data, give it to the second student, that way they could use the same computer. And then I can simply back back out of there. Now that was a set dive. Let's take a quick look at the set time. You just simply press and hold. It's going to go into the set time menu. Now you can set it up for 24 or 12 hour time. Since this is already in 24 hour time, I'm actually going to leave it that. That's kind of how I like my computers to be. Um, we're going to go into actually set time. It's 9.26 a.m. So I'm just going to press and release until I get to 9. It's easy enough to do. All right, and then we're gonna press and hold to confirm. And it's gonna go into the minute area. We're gonna to go to a two, press and hold to confirm, and then go to a six. Very simple enough. Now we're gonna go into the date. Now on this one, it's actually gonna show uh, the day first, then the month, then the year, simply because we are in that 24 hour or military time. So it's gonna use international dating. And of course, today is the second. So let's scroll through until we get to the second. And then we'll press and hold to confirm. 
Now you will notice that I'm having to go all the way through it. This button, since it's only one button, you can't actually back up like you can on a two or a four button computer. So you're gonna have to scroll all the way through it to get to the next one. So there we're set on the month of January. And then we're gonna set the date, of course, or the year to 2019. Real simple enough. And we're gonna press and hold and that gets us back out of the set time menu. And then we can hit it one more time. It'll go to the back feature. Just simply press and hold and we're out of the set menu. Now, if we go over to the log feature, just like any other dive computer, you simply click on it and it'll go into the log feature and you can scroll through all your logs. Now, this one only has one actual log in it. And that was from the factory. This is a brand new computer. So we won't be able to see all the different features in that particular one. All right, so there it's showing the one from the factory as well. And I can actually scroll through it if I need to. I can press and hold to get back out of there. And go back. And then of course we can go into the plan mode, just simply press and hold. Now this one, since it's set up in air mode, it's gonna show you your depth, your bottom time, and then whatever you're setting in, either air or nitrox. And you just simply scroll through. So there it's saying at 50 feet, you got 69 minutes. At 60 feet, you got 49 minutes. And you'll notice computers are a lot more conservative than what dive tables are, uh, but they will compensate as you come up to a shallower depth. So that's one reason that they're a little bit more conservative as well. And then I can just simply press and hold to get back out of the plan mode as well. I can go into PC mode. This is where I can download my information, whether I use the Blue Link to Bluetooth it straight to my phone if you're using the Dive SSI app, or of course you can use a hardwire link and um, log it straight to your dive computer as well or to your home computer. You can go into info mode as well. Info mode, you just press and hold. It'll tell you if your battery's okay. It'll tell you the serial number and all that good information as well. We'll press and hold to back out of that as well and then we get back to the main screen as well. So a one button computer, it's very simple to use. Once again, just as a, a little refresher for you, you press and release to scroll through, you press and hold to select, you press and hold to confirm, and then you'll go to your back feature and press and hold to back back out as well. But guys, that's the Mares Puck Pro. It's a very easy computer to use. Compared to a watch style computer, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot easier to read. Uh, it's gonna give you a longer strap, so if you're using a, a dry suit or something like that, it's gonna be a lot easier to wear. Um, but it's a simple computer to program. It's not very hard, it's one button, so it pretty much only does one thing. So it's very easy for you to operate. But guys, if you like this uh, video, simply smash that like button and definitely share it for me. If you got any questions on the Puck Pro, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.